very interesting points on a giraffe, but one that I always like to explain is the size of the heart and the blood pressure of this animal. What I've seen before is a lion kill, and the lions went for water, and the hyenas came behind them and they removed the heart, and it was literally about the size of my head, about the size of my face. I'm out this afternoon. I'm with uh, one of our other guides, uh, Roland, Roland Mann. He's just recently afternoon. joined Tinswala. And one of his passions is uh, is walking and tracking animals. He's got a level four track and sign and um, just loves being out in the bush, loves walking. And uh, one of his favorite things is to track line. And uh, our plan this afternoon is we've come south, see if we can pick up the Talamatis, uh, but also just be in the south and hang around the south a bit and see maybe pick up a nice herd of buffalo uh, maybe we get lucky with some leopards but uh, let's see if we can see the talamatis and uh, get you some footage of the talamatis right here we've got a male lion track they're going up and down the road so what we want to try and see is where one is on top of the other one that'll indicate the freshest direction and then see if we can follow up the tracks are from this morning they're not the freshest but they'll lead us to something that is Something that is quite unique with giraffes is that when they are threatened or being attacked by larger predators like lions, they have the ability to kick with the front and the back feet at almost the same time. Uh, a lot of weight on that foot, so if there is a connection, possibly a fatal one. They always seem to stare at you as if you've done something wrong. Very inquisitive animal, always staring often how we find predators they've got a vantage point view and they very often just stand there and stare into the grass and if you're paying attention looking into that grass could lead you to many different places where you want to be on drive a leopard or lions just sitting in the grass where you couldn't see them from your point extremely good eyes very interesting points on a giraffe, but one that I always like to explain is the size of the heart and the blood pressure of this animal. Uh, when it is drinking, the head has to go all the way down. But while it's living, walking around and feeding, the blood has to pump all its way up into the neck. So the pressure has to be quite extreme in terms of other animals and ourselves. Uh, when it's drinking, the head goes all the way down and there's a valve-like procedure that closes in the back of the head. Uh, it's a very, very brief explanation, but it stops the blood pressure from being able to extend in the brain and cause rupturing. What I've seen before is a lion kill and the lions went for water and the hyenas came behind them and they removed the heart and it was literally about the size of my head, about the size of my face. I think the correct weight of it is around seven kilograms and it can boost the blood pressure about three or four times ours. I can also hear it.
We just come across what looks like a mating pair of lines. I'm not too sure here to the male line is or the female line. We're right on the Sabi Sands border, pretty close to Kruger National Park. Could be the male from the Mbali Pride, we're not sure yet, or another male. Um, there's two males that come <coughs> from the Sabi Sands that are pushing slowly north, but yeah, we're not 100% sure which male this is. So we're just going to wait and uh, hopefully they'll make for us. Still sitting with this mating couple and we're hoping they are going to mate but we're still also trying to identify this male lion. Um, for me he's right in the centre of the Evoca territory. Evokas are normally here around the Sabi Sands, Bushbuck Dam, Bufalzok area. So we're not 100% sure yet but uh, maybe you the viewers have got a better idea of who this male lion could be. Is it the Mbali male or is it one of the evokers we haven't seen for a long time that come from the sands or is it a completely new male from the Kruger? a very successful mating. Very short and sweet. A wonderful end to a great day today, some good tracking experience and uh, honeymoon couple of lions behind us. A little bit dark now to get some great footage but good tracking experience today. Lion sightings are unbelievable in Manuleti. I've only been here for three months and uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs>